Hey guys, it's Philly and welcome back to Spill Sesh. Today we have to talk about Tana Mojo because not only is she shading James Charles, but she's calling out her friends who have hooked up with her ex and she's calling out a influencer's parent saying that she saw them doing some snow in the club. And we need to talk about Tana releasing her new canned wines that are quite expensive, honestly. Let's get into it. So Tana has completely lost her filter as if she ever had one to begin with, but right now more than ever tana does not give a singular f what she is saying online she is saying anything and everything and honestly people seem to be living for it so the first instance that i saw of tana just absolutely not having a single care in the world was that somebody posted a tiktok of james charles and they were making fun of him and they're making fun of the wah, wah, wah. yeah that one <laughs> The TikTok specifically said, I believe this video is where the ick originated. No one can tell me otherwise. Thank you. So they're basically saying that the ick originated from James Charles doing whoa, whoa, oh my God. And Tana liked this. Uh, and not only just liked it, she wanted to see more because she ended up also making a comment on this TikTok. She said, commenting to stay on James Charles slander talk. Oh my gosh. This comment had so many likes to you guys. I mean, people are living for Tana shading James Charles just because James Charles has a really bad reputation right now. And Tana has been one of the biggest creators to come out and speak out against James Charles. She has no fear in whether or not people will like her after talking about James Charles in a negative way because there's been a ton of creators who have stood by James despite everything that has come out about him. But Tana is like, nope, I'm not standing for it. It. give me the james charles slander tiktok like i want to be here i want to see this stuff keep me here algorithm so that was something that i was very interested in seeing and the other thing that i noticed was that tana posted with her ex chris miles in this tiktok that says me to him about our toxic year-long relationship and it's the audio that's like you thought that was fun it's like this euphoria sound but in the description of it it says i'd tag him but i'm sure more of my friends would get at him which that sounds like your friends got with him and this is shady towards him which also if my ex was getting with my friends we would not be cool exes anymore i'll tell you that right there like i would not be on good terms with my friends i wouldn't be on good terms with him we certainly would not be sitting down to make a tiktok about it together anyway it seems like tana is more upset with her friends about that situation than with chris but anyway the other thing you guys that tana has started a total storm of on the internet is that she did a podcast episode and in this podcast episode she was talking about how she was in the LA club the other night and she saw an influencer's parent and they were out and she saw them doing a whole lot of you know if you know what I mean with the nose and she was basically exposing them saying that if I had a influencer as a child I wouldn't be out here doing that I was in an LA club the other night and one of the more famous uh parents in this space I won't say who they were Dude. I saw them doing a bunch of and I was like holy yeah 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 he, everywhere um, I know who it is. I know who it is. No, no, no. Trying to hook I, 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 I absolutely know who it is. And you, yeah, oh, totally. So much. Yeah. And they're, they're the parent of this. Fun like, guy, though. Can we be honest? Super. Fun guy. <laughs> what no. is he supposed to do? Go to the library? 100%. No, I was just worked like, out. At Listen, least... if you have a daughter or son and they're making tens of millions of dollars jumping on a trampoline, you are supposed to go out to LA and shove grout in your face. <laughs> Her and the guests that she had on the podcast were just talking about the situation and definitely not thinking of it in the best light. Like it definitely seemed like, ooh, that's kind of embarrassing. Like, why would you do that if your child is a big influencer? Why would you want to publicly be doing that and risk them being embarrassed or like them finding out about it? Or yeah, anyway, people in the comments were ready to start guessing who the heck, whose parent was in the club doing this in public. And a lot of people were thinking that it was maybe the Danilio parents, but Tana came out and shut that down right away. Honestly, truly, I guess my thought in that my head in that moment was like, at least the Danilios don't do 
And I'm at the right. bare They are great, though. I, I do love them. But there were people that Tana wasn't saying that it was. And some people were saying the Ace family, but... Tana specifically said that this was an influencer's parent, and I don't think that Austin and Catherine's children should be classified as influencers in any type of way, so I don't think that this story was particularly about Austin. I definitely don't think it was about Catherine because she's, like, super anti, like, anything in her body these days, but you guys, the one that people were starting to notice that Tana wasn't responding to was addison's dad someone was like as someone who lives in la and always sees him out it's addison's dad another comment said addison ray's dad and oh my goodness you guys all the comments now are like it's got to be addison's dad which i'm surprised if it is because addison's dad does seem super friendly with tana like there's videos of tana being interviewed by the paparazzi and, and addison's dad just comes out of nowhere and starts saying hi to tana and they're talking and they're hugging and they're having a good old chat so yeah, that's right. Perfect. Yeah, we're in there. Yeah. Take this, will you, Tana? Will you take this? Let's get the flowers. Get the flowers. Get the flowers. Okay, get, 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 in the, get in the picture. Ready, go. Get in the picture. Will you take this rose? Get in there. Get in. Get in, Hollywood. And this is the cutest guy I know. Like, literally, he, he just took this. This way, this way. Turn this way. Turn this way. Okay, okay. You got it. If she were to expose him, oh, oh my goodness. Like he definitely isn't going to want to give her a hug next time. But that is just so uncomfortable. And if I was an influencer and my dad was getting caught out at the club like this, I would be embarrassed and I feel bad. Like most of the comments underneath this video is saying that they feel bad for Addison because he was doing the most when the Hollywood fix got him out saying hi to Tana. And I just, oh my gosh. This video is also all I could think about hearing the rumors that people think that Tana was talking about him and I mean she seemed definitely pretty uncomfortable in that Hollywood Fix video so you could see why she would maybe come out and talk about him doing some stuff in the club because uh, probably not her favorite person but it's just the rumor you guys it's not for sure if it's Addison's dad but that is kind of the word on the street the other thing I want to talk about in regards to Tana you guys is her wines Tana recently just came out with her dizzy wines they are a 13 percent canned wine and if you drink four cans it's equal to one bottle of wine and the price of these are 25 dollars for a pack of four and then they just keep going up obviously i've been seeing a lot of people say that it's really freaking expensive because obviously she's not selling them in stores like all around the country i'm pretty sure she said that they were going to be in grocery stores in either la or in california but I don't know if they're going to be anywhere else and so people have been purchasing them and on top of that they have to pay for shipping so it's like 30 something dollars that they are paying for for four cans of wine from Tana Mojo it does sound like it tastes really good like the flavors that she has going on in this little can of lychee and pear white peach I think that this definitely seems like a good thing that Tana has actually come out with like an actual product that I believe that Tana would like and that she is promoting because she genuinely would drink this herself because any other time that Tana has ever come out with a product like a perfume or a necklace or merch or anything like that it honestly hasn't felt like she really would wear or use the product but we all know that Tana goes out and she parties and I definitely wouldn't take Tana as like this wine lady but i could definitely see her actually drinking and liking her own product so despite it being very expensive and absurd and something that i would not pay 30 dollars for for four cans i do think that this is one of the products that she's come out with that genuinely seems pretty on par with her brand and i'm sure it just is super expensive to make because it is an alcohol and that's why it is very expensive so yeah i know that that's probably the situation there but I definitely want to know what you guys think about not only Dizzy Wines about her calling out an influencer's parent calling out her friends for being with her ex and let's not forget her calling out James Charles let me know what you guys think in the comments down below I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys in the next video bye guys <laughs>